This was originally the horse paddock for Coromel Mine. This paddock and part of the, the path that, uh, that the three major components are on was part of the original walking track for miners going to the, uh, to the coal face up at uh, Coromel Pit. Well, the, the catalyst for this, uh, for the tribute, was from Bob, uh, Bob Graham, who came up with a, uh, with a need he saw for, uh, to recognise the role of horses in the coal industry and the men that worked with the horses, the wheelers. As a committee, we saw that, uh, you know, the history of, of, of ponies in the, in the coal industry is so intriguing. Uh, there are anecdotal tales about ponies, pit ponies, refusing to go into sections of the mine uh, because something might be going to happen, or did happen. If they could smell danger, you know, like uh, if a roof was going to be falling or something like that, you know, they, they just pop and just wouldn't go. There are other uh, stories about the, the ponies having, uh, having an innate uh, intelligence that when the miners tried to sneak a, an extra skip for them to haul out, the story goes that some horses could count the number of clicks as the skips were connected and if you went over what he was going to pull, he wouldn't move. So, you know, and the other thing about the, about the horses is and um, that mine managers valued pit ponies much more than they valued the men working with them. But you'll see some of those horses worked in the, year, in, in the same mine for 12 years before they were bought out. And that is this one here, which examples the close working relationship between the wheeler and the horse. Another issue was the, the role of the mining communities for world peace and uh, you'll see with one of our um, components of the, the tribute that we recognise that. Well important for me and for the committee were recognition of the very very strong role played by the women Unlike many other occupations around this uh, region, uh, the coal miners' wives were never always certain that their husband were going to come home from work, either uh, badly injured or, in the worst circumstance, uh, be a fatality in the coal industry. So they were 100% behind any efforts that were being made to make the industry safer, healthier for their menfolk. And, uh, you know, they did a magnificent job. And as I say, that's why our committee said, well, let's identify that role. Well, I hope that uh, when people visit here, and they do, that they'll take the time to read the text and look at the imagery that's on, the, uh, on all of the components. If you have a look at the, the, the working conditions enjoyed by most Australians today, they all have their roots back in the struggles of coal miners.